like totally what we're looking for. Well guys, we have some really big news. Yeah, like really, really big news. So we're buying a boat. Yeah, we are. It has been a dream two years in the making and we're excited to finally get to share, I guess, our secret with you that we're gonna buy a boat. Yeah, to this date, only family and friends really know about it. But uh, for the last year and a half, we've actually been working on a plan to make this dream a reality. So today we're gonna take you on the journey of our process of why we came to wanna buy a boat and the process of buying a boat. When this dream started, I was waking up at 3 a.m. to go into the news station and tell story after story of COVID. Concerns over the spread of the coronavirus. Health experts are seeing a rise in child COVID hospitalizations, how COVID cases could triple, testing positive for COVID-19. It was the height of the pandemic, and I felt this stirring in my heart that it was time for something new and different, something that set my soul on fire. Good morning, it is 3.54. Tuesday, woke up this morning and just feeling like I'm over it. I'm over this schedule, I'm over the alarm clock, I'm over this business, I'm over coronavirus and politics. During this time, I actually remember a beach day with a coworker and I remember telling her, I wanna be a travel blogger, I want to travel, I wanna tell the stories of the places I go and the people I meet. And my mentality ever since then has been, if other people can do it, why can't I? When Emily and I first started dating, she mentioned to me that she, at that time in her career, she was always contract-based. So, so she mentioned to me that she wanted to buy an RV and tour the country. At that time, I was actually two hours away, Monday through Friday, working on a construction project down in South Florida. And the RV sounded really cool, but I quickly introduced Emily to the sailboat idea because of watching all the YouTube channels. We knew together that we both had this burning desire in our hearts to travel and seek adventure. Yes, we did. It was just a matter of when we started dating, those dreams were really set on fire and we started brainstorming and planning and we quickly started believing that this is a dream that we too can accomplish and we set our sights on setting sail for 2022. It is January 2nd, 2022, also known as our year. Our year of intention. Intention. That's our word for this year, intention. Everything we do is going to be intentional. So we decided today, or we, we wrote it down on our intentions. Our vision board. Our vision board, that's right. That the boat we're really looking for after all of the research that I've done I really think the boat we're looking for is a 2012 to 2014 44 lever. Yeah. Owner's Beautiful. version. Yes. So we definitely want the owner's version. We had decided the Leopard 44 was our dream boat, but any of the big three brands, Leopard, Fountain Peugeot, and Lagoon, between the sizes of 42 and 48 feet would fit our needs. We spent countless hours researching boats. We watched every boat tour we could find online and every chance possible, we toured boats, including at the St. Pete Boat Show. Could you see yourself here? No, no, no. At the wheel. <laughs> could you see yourself here? Absolutely. What are we on? We're on a Leopard 42 at the St. Pete Boat Show. It is end of January and we are scouting for our boat purchase, hopefully in April or May. It does have the most space. Yes, this is so this nice. This version definitely it's has amazing. the largest yeah. space. It's only a 42, but I mean, look at this. Look at this hallway here, essentially, on the owner's side to the bedroom, to the bathroom. How's the closet space? It's great. There's some uh, leopard hats in here. I think. <laughs> I think they mind if I wear them? Probably. Right. Let's see the bathroom. Wow! Look at the space. We knew we wouldn't be buying brand new, but it helped to see the different models in person and get a better idea of what we like and don't like on board. We are in, here at home in Sarasota at the Sarasota Boat Show. 
or as they call it, the Sun Coast. The boat show. Sun Coast Boat Show. Yeah, I'm excited to check out brands and potentially re meet with some who we met in St. Pete when we were there. Correct, yeah. super excited about the next month which was February and it was going to be our adventure elopement in the Bahamas we were planning to spend 12 days of just nothing but adventure and having fun after our wedding Twelve days in the Bahamas, honeymooning after our wedding aboard our friend Freediver Steph's boat C'est La Vie. We sailed over 300 nautical miles, trashed our wedding clothes among stingrays and sharks, and dove a shipwreck. It was an incredible time. We came back home so invigorated and ready to put our plan into action. Well, it's uh, Thursday, February 24th, 2022. Uh, first week back after getting married and having our honeymoon and I just got some really good news I just got off the phone with our finance team and it sounds like we should have pre-approval for financing tomorrow and now we uh, continue the boat hunt but the best thing about this is we are hoping to go to St. Augustine this weekend to look at a Lagoon 450 fly it is a owner's version boat, and if all works out, uh, we think this might be our boat. It is February 26th, and we are in St. Augustine and going to look at the potential sailing vessel, the Adventure Cruise. So, it's a big day for us. It is. This is a month prior to us really expecting to to want to you know start our, our searching. Yeah. Um, because this boat came up or came on the market, and I need to make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah. Um, it came on the market. Um, it was previously on the market, but the sale fell through for unknown reasons. We got to yeah. figure all that out. And just looking at it online and the layout it seems too good to be true yeah it's scary to say that unfortunately it seems too good to be true staff hey good morning good, good morning. morning how are you are you guys excited oh my gosh so excited. i uh i am super excited but in it's weird. I am like really nervous, <laughs> and this is not something I would normally feel like I would be nervous about. Yeah, like why do you feel like you're nervous? Because you wanted to be something so badly. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like, yeah, I guess that's exactly it. Like, I'm nervous. Like, I it almost seems like it's too good to be true. Be super critical with everything. Uh, at the end of the day, when you do a survey, they're gonna rip it apart if you get right. a good service. Lagoon 450 is one of the most popular boats in the market. It's a true 45 foot vessel with ample storage and living space, which was really appealing to us. Talk to me, Goose. Well, Maverick, 
It's awesome. Oh my goodness. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's like totally what we're looking for. The space on that boat. It's, I, I, I hate to say this because there doesn't seem to be any red flags, but it's, I feel like it's almost too good to be true. How could we find a boat exactly like we want in Florida, in our budget, or at our budget, and a private deal directly from the owners? In recent years, this boat has had a major recall for its bulkheads. This owner had not revealed to us that the bulkheads were an issue until we were touring the boat and I specifically asked them, had the bulkheads been fixed? Uh, and that's when I was presented with this quote, a bare minimum quote to fix the bulkheads. Uh, and prior to this, the there was no red flags at all in this boat. It was a clean boat, it looked really good. Um, come to find out that the bulkheads weren't fixed, so now this changes the ball game. So we are back on Sailing Vessel Freedom for the second time today, checking it out, seeing if um, she's our next home. Yeah, and uh, I think we're uh, we're convinced that we've we've got to put in an offer. As far as offer goes, seeing that you guys have already started the bulkhead process, I would like for you to continue that and us close on the boat the minute that that is complete. We're prepared to offer at this point in time. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. We're never going to take that. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I didn't want to go today because I don't want to waste it on my day. You know, I told you what we paid for it. Why would we take that? Why would you sell it for less? So I'm in the office and uh, last night and when I crunched the numbers, figured out that we do want to counter offer um, and end up taking our our offer up about $25,000 on the boat that we saw this past weekend. And spoke with the lender this morning, doesn't seem like it's gonna be an issue. So I tried calling and have not, did not get an answer. Tried calling the owner that is, did not get an answer and have texted them. They have read receipts on, so I know they saw my, saw it, but she has not called me back. So. She's playing a little hardball, obviously. It uh, doesn't seem like she really wants to, to negotiate much on this. She's pretty dead set on her price, so we're gonna see what happens. Um, in the meantime, I'm just uh, dreaming about boats. Ultimately, the deal with the Lagoon 450 fell through, and it was for a couple different reasons, but the main issue was the bulkhead issue. Uh, obviously, we knew the 450 had bulkhead issues, um, and we went into this not knowing if that bulkhead issue had been fixed on this boat or not. Once we found out that the owner had not fixed it, uh, fixed the issue, I really wanted them to, to move forward with that fix uh, because they had already been in contact with the manufacturer and actually were having the parts sent uh, back from the manufacturer to, to have it fixed. And instead, they really just wanted to give us the bare minimum uh, credit, credit towards the, give us the problem, right? Give, give us the credit, bare minimum credit and give us the problem. Right. And so we didn't think that was fair. Had they have gone through and fixed it with, uh, with their original intent, mm -hmm. then I still would have been interested in buying this boat because the Lagoon 450 is a great, great boat. I still feel that today, mm -hmm. um, for catamaran, a cruising catamaran that is. Yeah, sure. Um, but the second issue was the copper coating. Copper coating is a great, great product, but when applied properly. And we fit, found out in talking with the uh, actual this, this US distributor of copper coat that this boat's copper coating and anti-foul system had not been applied properly. It was patchy, it um, was was not done proper. And six months later in the hottest catamaran market yeah. ever, this boat is still for sale. So make of that what you wish. Yeah. And at the time, we were incredibly disappointed that this happened. I mean, goodness, we- We really this. wanted that boat. We really wanted that boat. It made sense for us. It made sense being in Florida, but I did keep reminding you, I said, what's meant for us will happen and we won't have to force it. And you know, that's with anything in life, right? So if any of you are watching and searching for your boat, just know what's meant for you will 
work out and you won't have to force it. That being said, that is that is true. But the boat buying process uh, without a broker is 100% an emotional roller coaster, and you're going to see why. Join us next week as we continue this journey. We get our house ready to go on the market and continue the boat search. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. You won't want to miss what happens next.